this Hi, so Tales from the Shed, back Again. in the shed, back in the shed, and amazingly, we persuaded another person to be a guest in the shed. How great is that? That's right, thank you. They, well, actually, <laughs> there is a bit of that. So today, we have the wonderful Emma, Emma from Doors Accountants. Um, Hello. Yeah, and I, 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 I love Emma, I love Emma, and why is that? Because... We, I met her. I met her first at a network, Dev Women in Business, and we've had we've had Louise on on as a guest in the shed too. So we met at a network, and um, I talk, I must have talked to her, bored her about menopause, and told her about <laughs> our video courses about because you know, she's obviously too young to be. Oh wait, way too young. Yeah, and so uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of said we've got this course, and we we got to make it available for employers. And Emma, God love her, went and watched it the whole thing and then decided to make it available it's a, it's a video course it's our it's, video it's, course. it's a video course yeah so yeah. so tell us about that what what yeah what, what was your impression because you, yeah. you you look really young you look really <laughs> by yourself you've got lovely skin yeah. so, yeah. so it's the filter on zoom it's not me okay, okay, <laughs> i love it i love it <laughs> tell me more about that but it's like what 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 was your feelings what was what made you sort of do that what what was your feelings about that okay so I am actually 41 so oh, yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. so uh, we have quite a lot of female employees which a lot of accountancy firms do and quite a few of them have been starting to go through the menopause or have gone through it already you know um, and we actually had one member of staff who sadly felt that she needed to leave because she was not oh. coping with her symptoms. And as much as we tried to be as flexible and uh, as accommodating as we possibly could be, she felt that the best thing for her at that point in time was not to be working at all. Um, so, so she left and it made me, I suppose, sit back and think about the impact that it can have, not you know not just on us as a firm but as each individual yeah. we can have women working from us from when they're 16 you know yeah. um, and, and to work for that long and then feel the need to to give up your job was quite something that impacted me I suppose and thought about the impact on myself um yeah running, it could you know. sound like it was a really brilliant this is what I'm doing I'm going around the world backwards sort of decision yeah. <laughs> I can't, I'm not coping very yeah. well. How can I struggle through? There is a huge amount. I think they say something like a third of women actually say they leave they leave work. Yes. Because of that, because of that reason, which is difficult. And and it sounds like you were trying hard as an employer to make it okay, but yeah. Still... We did our very best, but sometimes you know, it's just what's right for the individual and totally understand that. But equally didn't want that to be everybody's journey, you know, that because obviously everybody knew the reason she was leaving and things like that. And you don't want to get to that stage. And also, I run the firm with two men, you know, <laughs> they've, they've never been through it. They're never going to go through it. So I felt it was my responsibility, really. To, to take that on and, and to figure out how as a firm we could learn from the experience and perhaps um, put some support in a bit earlier on so maybe it might not have got to the stage where you know she felt like she needed to stop working completely not I, I don't think we were you know responsible for that in any way shape or form and I'm sure she'd say that but equally you kind of look back don't you and you reflect and you think well perhaps if a year before we'd started to do this or you know things like that so I thought watching the course would be beneficial for me so that's right. how I started off and then obviously watched the course got, got my certification <laughs> and I really enjoyed it yeah. and just thought well let's you know let's have a look into this and and see if it would be of a benefit for any of our employees apologies that's my phone ringing and it doesn't that's seem to bother me that's, <laughs> that's life that's life, business life. That's life. <laughs> um so so yeah I watched the course then also I realized that you had um, a version for men now obviously accountancy is also we do have quite a few men working for us so when we put it out to everybody it wasn't just here's something for the female employees it was like look here's a version for each of you um please feel free if you want to watch the other one you know if you're a female you want to watch the male version uh, you know vice versa you know please feel free to do that as well but we will pay for it you know for each of you should you feel you want to do it so it went out as an option to all of the team funnily enough the initial reaction was actually the men <laughs> yes please we'd like to learn more I'd like to understand my wife um 
so yeah the uptake was actually slightly more male orientated although the more I'm talking about it the, the more the women are going actually yes we, we should look at that yeah. Um, yeah so quite interesting interesting that's that's really good what do you do you feel that that educate education but but that sort of learning that sort of awareness that's a much better word um has helped women in the workplace men in the workplace has it sort of helped in that way yeah I, I think so I think um before there was probably a lot of eye rolling and you know oh, there's a woman in her 40s you know or above um, it's what they do they're just grumpy and they do this um then I, I think True. I think to be honest that um everyone's a little bit more understanding of things now and will perhaps give a little bit more time sometimes and you know and we'll, we'll come back to that you know so it does seem like if you've got that it's either eye rolling or go to the doctor which is yes. what we were trying mm. to do that that middle ground which, yeah. which, which feels a, a, a lot better a lot more understanding that there's lots of ways to help yourself do you feel um I'm sorry I'm putting you on the spot here because <laughs> but um one of the questions we often get asked and I'm really curious as to what your feeling is is what can you what can people do at work that would help somebody do you feel that um, as a group that's had a similar experience, like sharing that particular course and everything, you've kind of come up with a, uh, um, um, what, what am I trying to say? You've come up with a sort of a group that works in your, because because it's out there, everyone's talking. Um, do you yeah. come up with some ideas that work as a firm for you? I think a lot of it is around flexibility. Okay. So being allowed to work from home. So they can text me and say, mm -hmm, you know, I, I don't fancy coming in today, I'll work from home. That's, you know, that's absolutely fine. We have laptop set ups and, and everyone can choose to do that. Taking regular breaks, you know, because I think sometimes it can all become a bit too much. Yep. Speaking up before something becomes overwhelming because that was another thing is everyone would kind of sit and go and just let it overflow. You know, there's that thing, isn't there about your your bubbles and you know your, your, your lemonade and it's like overflowing and you know basically they were all letting it overflow yeah, but, working, you know but... tell us when you're like halfway not when you're right over the top you yeah. know don't don't come in, in in tears don't let it get that far you know if you're finding something's too much we can adjust the workflow we can share it between us we're a team we all work together you know we're not um we're not a firm that's that's your work and and nobody else can touch it share it out you know take the take the load off don't let it become so much of an issue for you you know if you're having a hot flash <laughs> take a minute go outside you know go to the cooler part of the office um you know go for a walk whatever you need to do in in your space in your time you know if you need to go to see the doctor go and see the doctor you know if that's the right path for you you know don't feel afraid or ashamed to message me and say actually I feel I need to go and see the doctor right now um you know just general things like that I think it's just a general understanding we're quite a nice friendly understanding team in, in general so I don't think it's been like a huge shift in perspective maybe but mm. just a bit more kind of be be a bit more open and don't be afraid to say you're struggling. there's a bit more tolerance as well like mm. I mean, mm. it, there's always an old adage, isn't it? You can never really appreciate someone else's hangover. And you can <laughs> never really appreciate, you know, if you're not going through that, you think, oh, just just get a grip, just yeah. da-di-da, -da, whatever. Yeah, as we do in yeah. England. In England, it's all just a bit, you know, suck it up and just, you know. Yeah, just get on with it. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, definitely not. Sort of understanding that this isn't just you being a bit weak or a bit mm. you know, whatever, that this is a real process that you're going yes. through just feel um because what we were trying to get through on the on the video was this idea of it being a positive process yeah rather than a negative put up with um and I think in the workplace there's been a lot of oh now we've got old oh, what's her name and she's gonna <laughs> be like this forever in a day and I've got to do that does it is there a bit more toleration that this is a process that they'll put Or an understanding, the yeah, an understanding. Yes, I correct. think there's more understanding because I think automatically if somebody's pregnant, 
you celebrate it don't you and you go amazing and you make all these accommodations for the fact that that person's pregnant and they might need some extra support or they might be tired or you know there's all these things that come with pregnancy that we actually celebrate and support incredibly well as a nation don't we you know I I like to think we do well I certainly (laughs) do I don't know about wider employers but I think um it was trying to get across that actually it's a similar thing and you don't need to think about it in, in a negative way and we will support you in whatever way you want you might not need our support and happy days yeah. you I it, think it's a really nice an- analogy I really like that because yeah. pregnant women aren't going to get fatter and fatter and fatter forever and ever <laughs> and ever they're going to reach a point and I think if we understand that end point yeah um we can we can help each other through it so I think that's a really I think that's a really nice sort of place if you like to just leave this at the moment if that's conversation conversation because so yeah so that's lovely yeah so it's brilliant and we just want to celebrate you as a wonderful employer i think you very much employer of the year we'll put you of the year we'll put you (laughs) i'm a judge i can't be normally (laughs) i will catch you again very soon thanks Bye. bye